Okay, I'm just making some sh um, quick shrimp cocktail. I went ahead and cut up some shrimp. Um, I like to do it in thirds so that I get these little chunks throughout the whole cocktail itself. And then there's some diced tomatoes that I um, just did and then some cucumber. I like to use the English one. This time I just use a regular one so I did take the skin off. And then there's some diced onions and then I will be adding the Louisiana cocktail sauce and it's um, Campbell's tomato juice also that I will be adding in here. I just do this because it has all the seasonings in it pretty much and I will add a little extra salt and pepper and then for a little kick I'll actually, um, actually add a little bit more hot sauce because this um, brand that we picked up isn't that hot um, but then and I'll add my avocado last and then I'll mix everything up and then let it sit in the refrigerator for a little while and then I'll add, um, sorry, also add some lime juice and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. Okay, I almost forgot. I did need to add some um, serranos. I put three in here. I didn't take out the seeds. And then I also put some cilantro. And then I'm going to go ahead and squeeze a couple of limes in here. Um, the juice of it. And then I kind of just do everything to taste. So I'll do a little bit of lime juice. And then I'll add my other stuff. And then come back and see if it needs more salt, pepper. And so on that, I'm going to go ahead and add some of the cocktail sauce. If I can get it out. And then I do like to add a little bit of tomato juice so it's not so thick and it thins everything out. But I don't like mine extremely juicy or really wet. I'm going to stir that up to kind of give you an idea. And then I will go ahead and put a little bit of my pink sea salt in there. And a little bit of ground pepper. This one I think is coarse ground pepper, but do that. And then I will come back to you um, when I'm done. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's done. Um, I did add some of the Louisiana hot sauce a little bit. I like it spicier than even with just the serranos in it. And then I went ahead and served it up. But I do put the avocado last just so it doesn't turn brown. And then when it is sitting in the refrigerator, um, that you don't have that issue either. But that's what it looks like.